Hi guys, Remy here, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited because today I'm going to show you guys my copy of Discovery by Daft Punk. Now, as you might know, back in February of this year, Daft Punk unfortunately announced their breakup, which broke the hearts of many people, and because of that, um, all the Daft Punk albums, especially Discovery, you know, um, they either sold out, went out of print, or became really, really expensive. And whilst I think that Random Access Memories, Homework, and Human After All, plus the live albums, have become like cheaper and a bit more available, Discovery, which is that album from 2001, is still quite hard to get because no shops are selling them, no record shops or websites are selling them. It's just, you know, people on Discogs or eBay or stuff like that are selling their copies for like really high prices. Um, and you know, I thought, I said to myself, I'm gonna wait till it goes down. It's been five months and the price has still not gone down, but luckily I had the funds to get myself a copy. Um, I didn't mind what pressing I got, I just wanted one that was preferably sealed and I did get a sealed copy so I was happy about that. This is the 2014 European Parlophone pressing. It sounds great when I play it and I'm so happy that I've got this album. So I started listening to Daft Punk back in 2013 so I was 14 years old then and whilst I knew like One More Time because One More Time is like an iconic hit you know, I, I really like fell in love with the tracks like Aerodynamic and Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. And whilst at that time I hadn't listened to the entire album, it was me definitely getting into like a different type of music. And then when Daft Punk did break up in February, it gave me the chance to really go back and listen to Daft Punk properly. And you know what, I fell in love with their music even more. And, you know, it's great because this album is 20 years old and the fact that, you know, it's full of samples from like the 70s and 80s disco music and they was, and Daft Punk was so creative and brilliant enough to kind of make completely new songs out of those samples. And the fact that those songs still sound so modern and fresh 20 years later is truly the work of genius. Like this album is amazing. This album will go down as being one of the best albums of this century, I'm guessing, or maybe of all time, and as it should. Even like the, the film that goes alongside the album is fantastic. It's just so much went into this and it is just purely a work of art. I'm normally a classic rock kind of person. Um, but this is just something, this is just phenomenal. Um, my favourite tracks, apart from Aerodynamic and Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, it's definitely Voyager. Like the chords, the synths, it just, I feel like I'm floating when I hear it. It's just so like, you know, it just makes me want to float and drift into space and I'm just like, I just feel like I'm up in the clouds when I hear that song and obviously when the beat kicks in you just want to dance like the night away it's just such a great song and I wish it was talked about a bit more. Digital Love, I mean I know Digital Love is a really like well loved track by fans, it's like a fan favourite. The guitar hook is just so infectious, like it's just so good. It's it makes you so happy when you listen to it. It's just a really, really sweet song and it's really cool and plus it's so fun to dance to. Songs that I'm less familiar with but beginning to really enjoy, Night Vision. Night Vision is just like slow, relaxing. It's just, it's very nice and calming and it's nice to listen to. I think it's a nice break from like the craziness of like Crescendos, which again, it's like a really fun track. It's just, I, I love, I just love it. Um, and then something about us is called cool. uh, face to face. You know, it's got that sample of um, the guitar of, from Evil Women by Electric Light Orchestra, and the, the way they the way they sampled that is just so cool. Like it's like a really really like edgy kind of element, I guess. Like a really it's just a really cool part of the track, and I love that. Overall, this album is just so fantastic. And I'm just so glad that I have it, you know. I don't know how many other words I can say to describe how great this album is. And the fact that I've got it in my collection 
makes me so happy and I'm so grateful. I hope they do make the album widely available again because it's not fair that it's so expensive and it's so inaccessible to so many people who just want to enjoy this album um, on vinyl. Uh, and also like this album's been repressed so many times so I think I think it should be repressed again, you know, just so that more people can have the chance to have it. Um, but I'm sure it, I'm sure it will. I know it takes a long time for albums to get repressed, but it'd be nice because I think more and more people should have this in their collection. And especially with more and more people getting into vinyl, it, it definitely should become more available again. But yeah. Also, I have moved back in with my parents. I no longer live at my university flat. So my record layout is different now and I want to show you guys. So I've completely moved around everything in my room in order to make these two shelves free from my records. These are again in alphabetical order, however this time I've decided to keep my 12 inch albums and my 12 inch singles separate from each other. So you know it kind of prevents like my 12 inch singles from being too squashed and it allows more space for the records to breathe. But yeah, we start off with my Beatles, all the way through to George Harrison, and then here we've got from George Harrison all the way to the end with Willow and Five Seconds of Summer. So yeah, my records fit neatly over there. And I keep my 12 inch singles in alphabetical order in this box. And I also have um, my 10 inch singles, as well as my 10 inch Fall Out Boy album, just because, you know, it, my 10 inch Fall Out Boy album would be a bit awkward against my 12 inch albums, so I just keep it here, and yeah, just all my singles right here. We have my 7 inches still in their little shoe box, and um, yeah, I haven't really changed anything about that. Please check me out on Instagram at Records with Rem. If you like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.